Now in this example, we have person kicking soccer ball. So let's say the person applies a force. So his kicking force equals 50 newtons. And he applies that force over a one second time interval. If the mass of the soccer ball equals one kilogram, find the velocity of the ball. So we just put in our formula. We know that F delta T plus M V1 equals M V2. So we need to know V1. So let's do it for two cases. Let's say for A, V1 equals zero. The ball is not moving. For B, the ball is moving towards him at 20 meters per second. So the negative sign means it's coming towards him. So we need to basically pick a direction. We're gonna say this is positive. So free body diagram, we've got that force and we put our coordinate frame going that way. Now there's also force from the ground. And for right now, we'll just say friction is zero mg. Okay, so for A, the initial velocity is zero, then we just have F delta T equals M V2. So 50 times one equals one V2. 50 meters per second equals V2. So that is if the ball was still and he applied 50 newton force over the one second time interval. Now for B, the ball starts out moving towards him. So we will have F delta T plus M V1 equals M V2. So 50 times one plus one times negative 20 equals one V2. 30 meters per second equals V2. So this is smaller than the velocity in the first case, which is expected because it had to change the direction that the ball was moving. So the difference between those two velocities is still the same. So zero to 50 versus negative 20 to 30. That's still a 50 meter per second change.